This is the Deicing Depot 275 gallon gas tote sprayer. Remote control operated by a small key fob. Gasoline engine. So to start out, we're gonna check our gas. We're gonna check our oil. Make sure they're full, ready to go. Then the next thing we need to do is we need to hook up power to a 12 volt power supply. For this operation, we've hooked it up to a battery. I would suggest a 12 volt power supply at your trailer plug at the back of your truck. Seven pin connector. Plug it in, you're good to go. Now that we have everything hooked up, powered up, we're gonna go ahead and hook up our hoses. We're gonna hook up a return hose. This fitting will screw into the top of the tote, which you'll see in a moment. This fitting will screw into the bottom of the tote. This is what our hose hooks to. There is a gasket, so make sure you don't lose that. and do our tote. So we'll pull the cap off. We'll screw on the fitting to allow us to get material out of the tote. The hose that belongs on there will have an inline filter. The filter will go right at the tote. You'll run your hose over to the suction side of the pump and connect it. Now we'll go ahead and hook up our discharge hose to go out to the boom. On the outside of the electric valve. And again, these hoses can be shortened to your specification. We give you extra because we're not sure what type of truck you're gonna put it on. So this other end goes here. So now we have our suction and our out to the boom. Now we're gonna hook up our return, which will help control our pressure at the boom by this valve, our back pressure valve. So we'll hook up the one end here. Put the other end up there. Going up top. What you're gonna do is you're gonna remove the cap from the tote. When you do so, the cap could be red, it could be black, it could be blue, but you have a center vent. You wanna take the vent out. We want to screw the return fitting into the top of the cap. We want to put this back on the tote. We want to put it on so it's loose. If you tighten this down all the way, it'll collapse the tank because the tank can't suck air. We'll go ahead and connect that there. So return is connected. It comes down. The handle in line with the hose, it's all the way open. All the way opposite across the valve is closed. We want to crack it open. So we have everything set up. We've got one last thing to do for our remote fob. We want to run this in auto mode. So inside of the, you have an electric box. It says auto ma and manual. We want to make sure it's an auto. If for some reason your guys were to lose the remote or the battery goes dead, you can flip this to manual and run it. You're not out of business. So we're, today we're going to run it in auto. So we've hooked everything up. We have our nozzles in the boom as you can see 
nice straight stream nozzle that this is going to be. Clip it back in place. You have manual boom busters. So if you want to use these, you're going to get out and open them up and get back in your truck, turn your unit back on. I'll show you that in a moment. I want to open up our tote. We're going to let our fluid run. We're going to open up the, the return so we can make sure the air goes out. I'm going to go ahead and remove, I'm going to remove the vent cap in the top of the banjo pump. That's going to allow me to let the air out. And that will let me know that my pump is now primed. It will also let you know if you have a leak. And with this one, our bottom air bleed was leaking. On-off switch. I'm going to go ahead and fire up the motor. Gas is on. Choke is set. Run this about half to three-quarter throttle. On and off. On. Off. So we're going to turn one of the boom busters on so you can see how it sprays. sprayed you're done for the day come back make sure you clean your unit real well don't really need to do anything with the boom other than if you want to drain it pull off this hose the boom will self drain your hoses as long as you you know you pull them off hold them uphill they will self drain if there's brine in here and it's winter time just leave the brine in there it will not hurt anything it will not freeze if you use this to water with, give you this nice adapter to where you can plug it up to either the uh, return or you can plug it up to the outside of the valve and water with it all summer. So if you water with it in the summertime, make sure before winter it gets winterized, drain anything off of it, add some antifreeze, RV antifreeze, windshield washer fluid. You don't want this to freeze. The other thing you want to make sure your operators don't do is you don't run this pump dry. If you run the pump dry, you ruin the seal inside of here. So they got to be very careful of that. Um, finish on the cleanup. Make sure you wash down the uh, flywheel and stator area real well. Spray it down with a, uh, with a lubricant to keep it from corroding. Because if they don't clean this or you don't clean this or maintain it, you won't be able to pull it the next time you, you uh, go to use it because it sucks air. You're spraying brine, you're sucking brine air. Loose little particles of salt get in here and rust the flywheel. Got to maintain that. Got to keep it lubricated. And if you have any other questions, feel free to call us at 954-781-9200.